Hey everybody, today we are talking on Pete Davidson. He deletes his Instagram after seemingly throwing shade to his girlfriend Kim Kardashian's estranged husband Kanye West on the app. Let's watch further details in this video, hit like and share with your friends. Pete Davidson has deleted his Instagram after seemingly throwing shade to his girlfriend Kim Kardashian's estranged husband Kanye West on the app. The move comes a week after surprising fans with his return to the platform following a four-year hiatus, which the SNL star previously left to protect his mental health in 2018. As of Wednesday afternoon, whenever fans search for his page, they are directed to the sorry, this page isn't available screen. Before shutting down his account, the actor made one post to his feed, which was a clip from Martin Scorsese's film The King of Comedy. In the scene, Robert De Niro states, better to be king for a night than schmuck for a lifetime. Many believed Davidson was a not-so-subtle dig to West who called him a beep head over social media attack last week. The rapper also vowed that Davidson would never meet the children West shares with Kardashian, despite the fact that the comedian has been in a relationship with the reality star since October. In another shock attack, West dredged up entirely unfounded rumors that Davidson once engaged in revenge porn by sharing intimate photos of himself and ex-fiancé Ariana Grande to the late rapper Mac Miller. But before exclusive details, please subscribe our channel, hit bell icon, and I'm sure it helps you to watch what we are watching. West shared a screenshot of the text he sent Davidson that read, Dot you as a man I'd never get in the way of your children. That's a promise. How you guys go about raising your kids is your business and not mine. I do hope someday I can meet them and we can all be friends. West, who suffers from bipolar disorder, shared a pantsless snap of Pete with his friend Machine Gun Kelly captioned, No you will never meet my children. He also shared a screen grab of an internet rumor that claimed Ariana Grande sent photos of the pair to her ex Mac Miller before his 2018 death. West captioned the shot, no comment. The separated father of four also seemed outraged that Davidson, who's in the process of lasering off all 100 of his tattoos, once had his hero, Hillary Clinton inked on his calf. When I tag people I'm just putting together the web. There are a group of people who run media and the election. Thank God for free speech, claimed Kanye, who ran for president in 2020. Look at this, beep, head. I wonder if Instagram gotta shut down my page for dissing, Hillary, Clinton's ex-boyfriend. West added, you all seen that tattoo but if I speak up then I'm crazy. I told you not going to use that one no more when a garbage man goes to work he gonna smell like trash but it's time to take the trash out the house. You can google the Hillary thing I'm not making this, beep. Up, the Atlanta-born hip-hop star's ex began dating Pete after she hosted the NBC sketch show on October 9th. Meanwhile, Kanye has been canoodling with Kim Kardashian lookalike Chaney Jones and Uncut Gems alum Julia Fox, who he split from earlier this month. Kim amicably filed for divorce from West a year ago after six years of marriage and four children, daughter North, son Saint, daughter Chicago, and son Sam. Thanks for watching and thanks for your precious time. We hope that you found this story interesting. Please comment your views down in the comment section. Share this story with your friends and we'll see you next time.